What is going on guys, Greg for today I'd like to talk about the mount training system in the Elder Scrolls Online and how it's kind of become a topic again on the forums. Uh, you know, people wondering why it's like it is, why it's not been changed. It's always is a topic, in my opinion, every couple months when new players start to come into the game, they realize how long it takes to rank up a mount. And they always kind of wonder why it's like that and why it hasn't changed. And believe me, this has been talked about in the forums and kind of within the community for years and years now. So it's not like it's a new thing. It's been this way for a long time. Everybody's kind of always been frustrated with that system. Now, if you played like, uh, or as long as I have, like, you know, like me, you have a lot of characters that are already maxed out. You know, you have 60 stam, 60 speed, 60, uh, uh, you know, bag space uh, already on your mount. Uh, and I have most of all my characters are, you know, completely maxed out unless it's something new that I have made. And I think that's what the frustrating thing is for most players is, yes, it takes a long time, you know, to rank up one mount. It takes 180 days because you only can put one point in one of those three categories every day. So a lot of people are really frustrated with that. But the thing I think that really frustrates most of them is the next character they make. It's not like the speed carries over to your next character. So the next character you get on your mount is not, you know, whatever your other mounts are. You know, it's going to be back to zero. So I think that is a thing that really frustrates people is every single mount that you, uh, you know, or every single character you make in game has to have, you know, 180 days worth of upgrading just to get, you know, max speed, max stam, and uh, you know, max bag carry space. And I think the reason a lot of new players are always asking this question, you know, every couple of months is because they have a lot of friends that play, you know, they may be playing with friends that have played for a while. They're kind of lagging behind when it comes to keeping up with them, whether they're doing PVE, PVP, whatever the case may be. And it always seems to bring new players to the forums kind of discussing why this has not been changed. And like I said, a lot of people have wanted this change for years. Uh, a lot of people have suggested that at least we can put one point in all three categories every day would be better. Uh, of course, the biggest suggestion has always been, like I said, just kind of allow us to, you know, always have whatever, uh, whatever our highest speed stamina and, and bag space is, you know, on, on our main first character you make, that is what it is across the board, kind of for all, all your other characters you make as well. And of course, when you get to the, you know, max 60, 60 and 60, like myself, you know, all my characters, when I make a new character, it would automatically just be that. And I wouldn't have to start over, uh, ranking up that mount again with a new character. So leave me a comment, guys, with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about it. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.